Hey guys, Astro Prime here and welcome back to Power. We're here at our um, farming base, the more organic farming base, and I have been working really really hard. I've ugh guys I'm so ugh the breathing, goddamn. Okay, so we finally got into breathing. I'll show you guys a little bit about what I've learned. Again, I don't think I have the fullest picture just yet. Uh, <laughs> but I think it's a little bit more hilarious if I show you guys what I was trying to do. So, um, once we got the breathing pan up, and I'm, oh, by the way, we do have cake. So let me just show you guys. I'm, I have cake in the making. I made this thing, this little freezer here, which doesn't make any... Oh, by the way, guys, if you press sword, the spoil timer resets. I'm pretty sure this is a bug. Um, and you notice we have a lot of milk. Now, guys, I, I had thought that I was running out of milk or rather the cows were not producing enough milk and then I realized something I saw my pancake there mm, ah this one mm. so it was only by accident where I saw my pancake doing this did I realize that the pancake has been stockpiling these things in the food chest <laughs> in the feed bowl guys and that's the reason why I have I, I felt like the production was so slow the production was never slow there were hundreds of milk it was just there I was so annoyed guys, but then again, you know, I would have found out. But anyway, the cake is here. The breeding pen is right here. Now, you'll notice that I'm breeding a Relaxorus and Gale Wing, two mons which I don't use at all. Let me tell you guys something about the breeding system, which was not something I was expecting. Now, I had a fox park here that had Swift, right? My, origi uh, my original Van Worm has Ferocious, which is two very, very good passives. Now, I wanted to breed the Van Worm and the fox park. Uh, in hopes that okay so what happens is that every time you breed the passive skills has a chance to be passed down to the next generation uh so that's how you kind of pass down genes and stuff now i had initially thought that if i pair a van worm this is a boy boy uh van worm and a uh go uh fox park now i thought that what happened is that maybe it's like 50 50 percent chance right uh either it followed pokemon and then a fox park pops out or maybe a van worm uh pops out so like 50 chance now what i wasn't expecting What's this gill wing? Gill claw. This, you notice this gill claw right here has ferocious and swift. This was the product of a van worm and a fox park. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. I stared at my screen wondering what the hell was going on. Um, and then what happened was I tried to pair uh, van worm with the gill claw. And then in the end, I realized I ran out, of, uh, ran out of cake. So I had to go and figure out how to make cake. But yes. Um, it's not what it seems. So I went online to do a little bit of search and I found out that crossbreeding in this game makes zero sense at all. Now there's a very special thing about crossbreeding which I won't talk about now uh, so that we can kind of like not have spoilers. But basically, irregardless of whatever you pair, unless you pair a Van Worm with a Van Worm, that guarantees a Van Worm. Other than that, if you pair a Van Worm with any, you can pair a Van Worm with any of these bad boys and something else could pop up entirely. It is an extremely convoluted point system. Each Long story short, go go read it up on yourself. I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, but basically, long story short, um, each pal has a value tied to it, and when both pals and, and and what happens is that when you pair the two pals, it takes the average of the two values, and based on that value, um, the the closest pal number. How do I even explain this? Okay, so imagine, imagine this. Okay, um, Lambo has a value of one, Kativa has a value of two, and Chikapi has a value of three, right? Um, if you pair a lamb ball and a chicka pea, which is 1 and 3, it becomes 4, you divide that by 2, it becomes 2, a cativa pops out. Um, basically, that's that. So, I was not expecting that, it was very confusing, and I had to go online to look for calculators to figure out what could produce a van worm, and it turns out, a gill claw and a relaxorus pops out a van worm. So, what I've essentially done is I've taken this gill claw and this uh, relaxorus that I got, um, and I'm trying to breed them so that I, in hopes that a Van Worm that runs Ferocious and Swift might pop out. Um, because Ferocious is uh, all about damage, and Swift is all about speed. And I think these two will be a great combination. So that's what we're doing. Um, and you can see they've fallen asleep. Now I'll show you guys the breeding system as well. So we have the cakes, right? Now what happens in the breeding pen? When you put a male and a female, so you, uh, okay, they're not here because they're sleeping, right? So my Relaxorus and my Gale Claw can be thrown into this breeding pen. And as long as you have cake, now the cake you have to put it here. In this chest here is where you put cakes. Now as long as you have a cake in there, they're gonna start breathing and once that meter, that circle fills up and the meter is maxed out, um, uh, egg will pop out. So the egg only pops out if there's cake. So even though you see the bar is filled, but there is no egg on the floor. The reason is because I don't have a cake. So let me show you guys what happens when you... Okay, let me just turn it to daytime first because it's kind of silly. Yeah, so okay, so the breeding system was not the most complex, but it was. It took me a while to figure shit out. Um, 
Yeah, and, and of course figure out that my eggs and my milk is inside a feed bowl. That one frustrated me greatly. <laughs> it was so dumb guys, so dumb. Um, but yeah, so you'll notice that the two of them are there just kind of working hard. Um, but even though the, the bar is filled up, love is blossoming between the two pals but not enough cake. So that was that is why the egg didn't pop out. So what you essentially have to do then, so the good news for you is that even if you don't have a cake in this chest, they're still gonna breed and the meter's still gonna fill up. However, you actually need the cake which we will grab here. Can I make more? Oh yeah, I can make a lot. Hell yeah. By the way, the cake still takes ages. The cake is just, it takes ages to make. Just, yeah. So once you pop this cake in, it will immediately get consumed, I think. Huh. Not enough cake. You're a cake. Oh, there we go. So it gets consumed and an egg is on the floor. There we go. Scorching egg. There we go. So once the egg is done, then they'll start breeding again. So you'll notice that even though it says not enough cake, the bar, the bar is ever so slowly going to fill up. So they're still going to breed. Just that you need a cake in there for the egg to pop out. So you can kind of pre-breed them a little bit. And then once your cake is done, you can just pop it in there and let it, you know, let it rip, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, oh, let's... Okay, so um, these are the scorching eggs that I have. These were the... Um, the previous eggs that we has been popping out, so I've been working on it just to figure it out. Now, I wanted to open all these eggs together. So remember, we are aiming for a Van Worm that has um, Ferocious and Swift. So we're going to pop the first egg in. All these three eggs are from the same pair there, so we have a chance. Whoa! Oh! Damn! Ah yes! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, this one, this one wrote the glutton, so that's fine. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, this one wrote a new skill, saddest. Oh shit, wait a minute, this one is great. Hold up, hold up. Okay, let's sort it out by power deck number first. Oh, we got good rolls out of this, man, Jesus. Okay, so the glutton is a... Uh, oh, but this one has bottomless stomach, shit. Yeah, saddest would have been great, but... Oh, but this one is a beast. Look at this! Oh, this is an absolute beast. Okay, this is... Oh, wow. Yeah, this one is a beast right here. We're gonna swap them out. Okay, but that means that my Van Worm is back to like being level 1. We're gonna need to slowly work on that, but I mean Van Worm is mainly for flying, so I don't expect him to do that many much uh, in terms of like damaging and stuff. Um, but yes, this pairing is pretty okay. Now the idea here is I want to breed enough Van Worms with good rolls and good stats so that we can actually get um, get like a pair of Van Worms uh, breeding together. The only problem is you need to re- Okay, so unfortunately guys, you might have to hop over to the um, Pell deck cal um, Pell breeding calculator or something. Uh, it's a really useful tool. What happens is that you can input like whichever Pells you're breeding and to see the outcome. Um, and you can even decide which offspring you want and which uh, and then which pair of Pells give you those offsprings. So that's going to be super if, uh, useful in terms of trying to uh, breed down those skills. So like for example, Swift right here. Um, Fox Park will never, uh, if I'm not wrong, Fox Park never produces a Van Worm. So unfortunately, I cannot use a Fox Park to uh, push down the Swift to a Van Worm. So you'll need to find something else to push down those stats. Or you can daisy chain. Like for example, if let's say you breed a Fox Park with something else that gives you Gale Claw, then the Gale Claw can uh, breed with the Relaxorus to give you Van Worm. So, so there's a lot of convoluted like passing down of genes and stuff. Um, the good news is every pal can only roll with 4 genes. Um, it means that the chances of genes being passed down is significantly less RNG-ish. Like for example, on our first 3 rolls, we already have like a Van Worm with like all 3 of the desirable stats passing down. Um, so while the breeding system is a little bit difficult to learn, um, the time it takes is only stopped by this stupid cake. Honestly, the cake thing is super slow, guys. Uh, yeah, the cake is the biggest issue in this whole process. So, I'm not sure if we are missing something out. Uh, but we definitely need to figure out how to speed up on the cake department. But yes, so that is the breeding uh, mechanic in a nutshell. So for today's episode, yeah, I just want to cover the breeding a little bit. But today's episode is going to be more exploration again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these things off here first. And what we will do is, oh, yeah, my dick toys is now digging. This dick toys digs great, guys. Like, okay, if, if the dick toys starts to dig, I, I want to show you guys what happens. It's really cool. Okay, I think it's off. It's off. Okay, uh, let me show you guys how dick toys dig. It's super crazy. Look at that. It's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> Super awesome, guys. Oh, but yeah, so, um, there's all, oh yeah, so there's this thing as well. So I think you guys have already seen this. So this thing is, damn. Uh, this is an actual replacement of the Pelsphere. So this is now your Pelsphere production line. Um, a lot faster, it is actually, I mean, aside from the fact that it is a lot bigger, it is also a lot faster in terms of production, but it needs electricity. So, um, I think it's a worthy upgrade, but that's just me. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I feel it's great. Alright, so, with that, we are going to head out for our travels. Let's get some of these things going first. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's get some of these things going so that we can head out. So, we are on our way to, uh, towards uh, more exciting lands, I guess. So what we will do today is we want to, I'm going to explore towards the left. So now remember we were here and there was this weird duck looking like, um, I, I call it like a remnant labyrinth thing. Um, I feel like I want to try and see how challenging that place is going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to the small cove and then we're going to travel this away. And then maybe travel downwards or we could travel upwards as well. Like, okay, so by the way, I've opened, oh! Yeah, so I've opened up this map here and I found a lake with a freaking level 45 Yorman type. Crazy. Um, it looks great, guys. Um, but yeah, well, we're not we're not ready for level 45. So I'll probably go this way. Actually, you know what? Let's head upwards. So that- what the? Yeah, the Syndicate Tower must regret really coming in. Jesus. Look at you. Fool! Damn fool! Alright. But yes, um, let's teleport here first. And then we can explore along the coastline. And I'll show you guys um, Iktadir as well. Iktadir is great. Okay, so we're going to go this way. Wait, what? This way. Yeah. So, I realized that if you guys want to travel fast, Iktadir is actually... <coughs> Sorry, nearly choked on my own. Yeah, Iktadir is actually really fast because on ground, he's actually not too bad already. But you can use his uh, Adler up uppercut attack. And he kind of just... Oh shit. And he kind of really flies. So it's super cool. There's an egg over here. Rocky egg. Cool. Oh yeah, I, I do feel it though. Van Worm definitely flies faster with Ferocious. Shoots. Oh, you know what? Can you imagine if we can pass down all speed related genes? Yo, we could make really fast Van Worms. That would be cool. Oh, so... Yeah, so the interesting thing is breathing. You can really kind of start breeding uh, Mons super early in the game. Uh, by level 25 or by the time you uh, kind of unlock the breeding pen, I guess. There's eggs here, which I... Oh, it's a large scorching egg! Nice! We can RNG that one. Awesome. Okay, now the question is, do we want to go left or right? This is a new area though. Oh wow, there's a... Okay, yeah, no, let's just go to the statue, Jesus. If you see a statue over there, you might as well go for it. I'm pretty sure we're going to meet new pals here, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be significantly like... Oh wait, okay, but there's... Regular... Pell balls on the ground. Does that mean that maybe it's not that bad? Ooh, this place is desolate. Okay, there's a teleporty bit there, so that's great. Oh, oh hello. There's an egg over there. Oh, hello. It's an egg. Thank you for the egg. What's this? Large scorching egg. Oh, oh, pie. Oh, yeah, no, they're level 29. Yep. We are in way over our heads. So that's disappointing because I did want to explore this area. Wait, let me come. Okay, shall we unlock the um, teleporty zone first? Now, the good thing about exploration is that you, even if you are kind of under leveled, you, nothing stops you from still exploring if you want. It's just that you want to be super careful not to be attacked. Because you never know when you might run into like a bad thing that could like one tap you. There are so many eggs here! What the hell? Hold up. Let's grab this. Is that an egg or an effigy? Oh, it's an effigy. Cool. Yeah, I, I realize I'm running like... Like, I, I haven't been focusing a lot on finding effigies. But again, the thing is, my approach to this effigy thing is that... it Okay, it's, there's so many fire eggs here. Okay, this is really good news for me. Okay, I see an effigy over there, but it's a bit of a detour. Okay, it's good news for me because Van Worm is a fire type. And if there's so many fire eggs here, there's a good chance we might roll Van Worms with good stats. Um, I have no idea if eggs uh, hatch mons with better stats. I'm not inclined to think they do. Um, but yes, I'm, I definitely want to look at how to um, pass down like good genes onto a Van Worm. Van Worm so far has been a really, really good mon. And pretty powerful too. And can you imagine if we manage to pass down good stats? Uh, oh, there's so many good eggs though. There's large eggs. 
Gigasphere, there's a... Yo, this place is great! Okay, so there's a teleport... Foot of the Volcano. Okay, so... Ooh! So, yeah, this is... This is probably Fireland then. This is an actual... Oh, yeah, this is an actual Volcano. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Okay. Hmm. Okay, but why is there no petals? Like, okay, aside from that Pyrene thing that we saw... Yo, why are so... Hang on! Is it me or are there so many more eggs here? Shit, there's another one over there! Okay, but there's, they're all fire eggs though. Hmm. Okay, seriously, there's no pals. Like, there's so many eggs, but no pals. Is this, is this like a thing? Large scorching air, we just level up from it. Yo, look! There's- Oh! Yo, come on! Yo, where is this place, man? Jesus. Okay, guys, if you guys are looking for eggs to hatch, there's this place. There's a bunch of effigies, too. Okay, let's grab this effigy first. Yo, is there another egg over there? Oh, no, that's an effigy. Oh, God! Oh, that was close. Guys, don't press F, man. Jesus. <laughs> Yo, there's so many cool things. Whoa, okay, but why is there no mons anywhere? That one puzzles me greatly. Pick up. Okay, so there's another egg over there. Yo, this is egg length. Okay. Oh shit, there's two more. Whoa, okay, hold up. There is so much cool things here. Okay, but first, I'm gonna need to land. Land for stamina. Yeah, there's another effigy over there as well. Oh wait, I just realized Van Wen rolls with Dragon Burst. What? That's cool! Oh, this is very exciting actually. Like, okay, if I have a solution to the whole cake thing, breeding can be really fun. I, I, I realize that breeding is going to be quite lucrative in terms of like, kind of like passing down the genes for the best pals. I guess the only irritating part, like I said, is the freaking... What's it called? Bruh, 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 Stop, please stop, please stop. Come on game, please. I don't want to double tap F because then I'll fall. Oh shit, I just saw it. Uh, uh, there we go. Jesus Christ. That's a curse. Oh, I bet you there's an egg up there. So many eggs. I bet you there's an egg up here. No, there isn't. That makes me search. Yeah, so this area apparently is like no pal land. But there is a buttload of eggs. Which... Is great. Wait, I, damn, is that an effigy? Or my, or is my brain farting? I put my brain farted a little bit. Whoa, this is cool though. Cool in the sense that if we, I think we. Okay, so if eggs respawn, then it will make sense for you to come back here. But if eggs don't respawn, then. Um, I don't know, man. Let's go first. Okay, so here's. Oh man, this place is huge. I'm gonna mark this area because this area is actually pretty lucrative. Now, what do I mark it as? Eh. Let's put a star first, I guess. Oh, Wixen! Yo, they're level 30? Yeah, no, we're, we are very underleveled. Very sadly, underleveled. Um, but it is a lot of eggs. Oh, what if. Wait. Hold up. I realized something. Can we. Go to a higher level zone to grab eggs. And does that give us rarer mons? I don't actually know. Okay, so the thing is, I don't know what this egg, the egg loot table is like. Um, because you notice that there's only... Oh, hello! Pyrin. Guys, you're fire. You're not supposed to be in water. Jesus. Mount up. Okay, there we go. I was wondering when I'll see... Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. Okay, there we go. This is better. Oh yeah, we I don't I don't think we have the armor to survive here. I, I realized. I mean we I mean thank goodness we still have our heat resistant armor, so that's great, but oh god! That is a buttload of eggs. I love it. Oh yes. This makes me very very happy. Very happy indeed. I wonder if we have enough uh heat resist. Like if you look notice the bottom left hand side our temperature meter? 
Yeah, it's kind of almost there already. I feel like if we go any deeper... Oh, okay, sorry. It just clicked for me. Um, I'm not sure if the develop... Oh, hello! Reptyro. Oh, please don't eat me. Oh, I finally found something like this. Cast away journal day zero. Oh, it's a vent worm. Wait, can we read the journal? Day zero? Oh, whoops. Not this. Uh, journals. What is day zero doing here? XXX was here. Strangely enough, the island is shrouded in a thick fog that makes this uh, makes discerning it from the sea impossible. Attempting to stay away from the fog, I turned rather only to be enveloped by an even deeper fog. Just then, someone attacked me. I have no idea where the attack came from, but my boat was all but destroyed. With nothing but wreckage left, I was still somehow able to make it to the coast. This island exists in no database. It is an island hidden from the world. Why is it being hidden? Why isn't it on any maps? I'm certain this is all intentional. Was the attack on my vessel part of an attempt to complete concealment? There are more mysteries than I can count. But I am resolved to discovering uh, all of the island secrets. Guys, uh, I just remember something. So these were the journals that we've collected. Um, I'm mindful that because sometimes when I'm traveling around opening up the map, I may run into journals as well. So if I ever do that, um, I will still pick up the journal, but I won't read it. I'll read it together with you guys so that we can experience the story together. Sorry, the lore together. There is a... Oh, by the way, guys, I do have a Flimbell. Um, Flimbella. Because I, I think I rescued a Flimbella from a... Uh, camp, I think. I think. Okay, but anyway, like I was saying, um, it makes sense now. I, I, I just realized we are in a volcano. Uh, and eggs need heat to incubate. So all of a sudden, having so many eggs here made all the sense in the world. Uh, I don't know if the developers intended for it to be it. For, to be like this. Um, it would be pretty cool though if the developers did so. I would be quite pleased about it. By the way, this guy, oh, these things are sulfur. Uh, these are sulfur deposits. Very, very important when it comes to making, um, what's that called? Bullets as well. So, the only problem is because right now we don't have another ex. Uh, oh, wow. Yo, this place is crazy. Oh, it's a Kelpsy, but it's a fire Kelpsy. Kelpsy Ignis. Cool. Yo, okay, so there are new mons here, but this volcano place is crazy. Okay, yeah, so this is clearly egg land. So, if you guys are looking for like fire egg Oh, wait, I just realized. With all these eggs, we're gonna be so easy, like easily able to like max out our, uh, what's it called? Like our Pell, Pell decks. So the good thing about uh, hatching eggs is that they do contribute to your Pell contribution, uh, Pell decks as well. So let's say for example, you, you hatch like three Ignis, uh, three, oh. Brother of an eternal pyre meta- oh, I, that is a mouthful and a half. Okay, by the level 25, let's not mess with them. Oh, hello. They're pirates. The pirates look cool though, like, they're like fire wolves. These guys are level 31, we are not ready to deal with them. Okay, so our volcano adventure is probably gonna be... Is that an egg up there? Please don't do that, come on. <laughs> okay, hold up. Okay, so there is an entire like area here. Whoa, this place is crazy. Guys, look at this place. So this is super interesting because clearly clearly humans or or what might be like humanoid intelligence clearly they've been here before. Like these are buildings that has like they are clearly human. So, humans been here before. And I wonder whether these are the humans that, the, the humans that built this, were they the castaway, like, you know, those featured in the castaway journals and stuff? Or were they like an entirely different, like, generation of humans? I don't even know. This is so cool, guys. There's like a air of mystery in this world, too. I mean, you are alone. and then, But you're seeing like remnants of like a civilization. That's cool. Alright, there's a cave over there, which is awesome. Oh man, this is so cool. Okay, so, uh, wow. Okay, so, but unfortunately, the volcano is clearly way past our level. So we won't be able to do much. Oh, that Reptyro is so cool. But it's level 35. It's as good as me trying to catch a Memorist. So I don't feel like we are ready to catch that just yet. But I think we did manage to get a, quite a lot of, um... Now that means that it's time for RNG. 
Okay, so we've explored a little bit of this area and we've unlocked two uh, points of interest. Uh, okay, you know what? We're, uh, later, we're going to travel downwards as well. I want to see what's down there. But first, let's head back to base and let's do something a little bit more fun. Not that exploring isn't fun. Exploring is fun for me. But let's mix it up a little bit, shall we? Okay, so... Oh, Jesus. This whole place is littered. Okay, so we have one cake right there, which is awesome possum. Let's put this here. Let's... Not that I've... Oh, crap. So much eggs. So much eggs. So much eggs. <laughs> So much eggs. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, I moved the incubator here because if I felt like the incubator was interfering with, like, that. Okay, so let's sort this out. Okay, so we do have a couple of large ones. Let's hatch the small ones first. And RNG and see what happens. That is... Oh, look! There we go! A Kelpsy Ignis. And that opens up a new Pell Dex. Like a, uh, a Pell Entry. Motivational Leader, though. So that's not very good. Okay, so another Kelpsy Ignis. Oh no, there's a Van Worm. Oh, it's a mining foreman. That's pointless. Another Van Worm, insulated body. Nobody cares. Come on, you guys can do better than that. Whoa, a Lee Spunk Ignis. Shit. Oh yeah, we are unlocking so many cool... Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Eggs are pretty good when it comes to like just filling out your pal decks. I should... Yeah. Okay, so here's another Lee Spunk. Oh, another Kelpsy. We'll just hedge and see what pops out. So another Kelpsy Ignis. I think the fact that we have so many eggs really helps a lot. Because then we can see like what are the, the loot tables or the, the pool of... Okay, so that's a lousy Van Worm. So, but we know we can hedge Van Worms. Which means there's a chance that we might be able to hedge like a super good Van Worm. Like that one. Runner! Oh! Okay, so here's the thing. I'm almost sure the game won't allow you to stack the same passives. I could be wrong. Um... But they will allow you to stack. Let's say for example, runner and swift. Swift is thirty percent if I'm not wrong. Runner is twenty percent or something like this. I'm I'm guessing you can you can pass those down. I hope. Bottomless stomach. That's not a point. That's pointless for us. Muscle hit. Okay, muscle hit might be good. I forgot whether muscle hit was work speed or was it uh, attack. One of them. But we're getting a good. The hard skin is a defensive skill, so that's pointless. Okay, we're getting some decent Van Worms, which is good for breeding. Capacitor, that's weird. Okay, so now now for the large eggs. I want to see what the large eggs roll. Yo, Pyrin! That's new! Entire body is, has evolved into a highly effective radiator, gifting with a sounding stamina. When someone has mounted it, oh, cool! Oh, so it's a, it's a horse mon. Cool. Okay. Let's see what else we get. Oh, nice! We got a Wixen. Arcane Phenomena. It prefers to eat food well done. It's particularly hostile towards Catrus. Oh, we, oh yeah, by the way, I forgot this Rocky. We must well hatch it first. See what kind of rock mods we get. Could be a mud, a mud, uh, a mud fish. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, let's see what else. Oof. Whoa. Pyrin Knot. What the hell is that? It's supposed to remain particle. If someone writes it, you should take... Oh, wow. Okay, but it's a it's a weak one. I mean, not weak, but the the passive is not that good. Pyrin not. That's cool. Okay, so this is another regular Pyrin, but not the strongest. And what's last? Ooh. Yes, a reptyro, magma. Blood. Ooh, what the rep? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so there's so much things to see. Hold on, let me sort shit out first. Okay, so what do we... Okay, there we go. These things. Wixen. So, Wixens are... Oh! Oh, so at... Hmm... Kinding level 2 is great, though. Uh, how about... See, Ignis. Level 1, that's pointless. Uh, Catrus. Oh, Reptyro. Oh, whoops. I'm an idiot. Okay, now I'm warm again. Let's see. Reptyro. All loving beasts. Ooh, cool. Yo, it's level 3 in Kindling. Uh, yeah, mm, sir, you are going to be working on this area now. Thank you. Oh. Oh, no, but this guy is probably going to be better at my mining base because of the level 3 mining as well. Yeesh. Guess I need to go and find myself more of these. Okay, but we did get a good... Okay, where's the runner one? Hang on. Yeah, can I... Do you think I can stack runner onto Swift? So Swift is 30%. If I can stack a runner on it, then it becomes 50%, right? I haven't tried to... Oh wait, no. The gender. Shit. <gasps> yes, it's female. Ha <laughs> ha. Very good. Oh, very good. 
Yeah, this one got swift, but... You know what? I'm gonna breed these two Van Wil. I'm gonna replace, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can try and breed these two Van Actually, no. I could just get Gale Claw and then breed it. No, wait, Gale Claw is female. Shoots. Uh, yeah, so, so be mindful of this as well. You're gonna need to kind of juggle around with, like, the gender as well. Uh, which is why I want to spam breed a lot of these Van Worms and stuff. So, but yes, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. We've done a lot of hatch. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Wasn't there a hatch? Oh, did I store naked? No, it's rocks. Shit. Yeah, but, um, yeah, so at least we've delved into the whole breeding system. It is quite convoluted, but not the worst in the world. Um, it sure as hell is easy enough to pick up as you, once you figure shit out. Um, the only thing is really the the, the cake. The cake is taking too long to uh, make. But other than that, it's actually really, really simple system. Uh, only four stats to work on, so yeah, and I, and we've managed to explore a little bit of the volcano. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go south, so we'll probably find another time to go to go there instead. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one.